You look at SIG. SIG came out with a P365 chambered in 380. Beretta just released a full-size handgun with a 3.9-inch barrel called the ADX Cheetah chambered in 380. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about a Thursday. What have I been thinking about? I have been thinking a lot about 380 ACP. I remember 10, 12 years ago, it was extremely popular. The kel P3AT, the Ruger LCP were so popular. People were overpaying by a lot just to get their hands on these very tiny, lightweight little guns chambered in what? 380 ACP. And then as time went on, it became less and less popular because 9mm sort of took the place with the very small, lightweight handguns. So 380 has become the problem child in the gun world. Nobody wants to talk to that child. Nobody wants to associate with that child. They said the 380 ACP is not for me. Too many other options are out there. So is it still relevant? It doesn't have as much energy as the 9mm. Gel tests prove that the 380 isn't as penetrationable, if that's a word. Are people still getting it? And you look at, when we train people, we say, use a 22 to start out with. Yes, give that new shooter a 22 because the, the low recoil will get them familiar with the trigger pull, the, the point and aim, gain some confidence, have some fun, and then eventually move them on to other rounds that have a little bit of recoil to it. But when it comes to 380 ACP, we take that and push it all off to the side and say none of that matters because I don't want it. Well, I equate it to something like this. When I go to a new restaurant, I'm looking for my comfort food. I'm looking for that bacon double cheeseburger. That's what I want. I want it big, juicy, medium rare. I want the grease dripping off that patty onto the bun and I consider it delicious. But I also recognize that there's a salad portion on the menu. Okay, maybe four or five offerings, but I don't want anything to do with that. I don't even look at it. But other people will. They will go straight to the salad side before they even look at that bacon double cheeseburger that I am craving. Why is that? Well, people have different preferences and desires, whether it's a restaurant or choosing a handgun. So even though the mainstream people, I believe, on this channel and on others, not just channels, but forums, they say, I don't want anything to do with 380 ACP, but there is a section of people out there that prefer it. Why do I say this? Do I study it? No, but I check with the people and the manufacturers who do study it. You look at SIG. SIG came out with a P365 chambered in 380. Beretta just released a full-size handgun with a 3.9-inch barrel called the ADX Cheetah chambered in 380. Ruger has been doing it for years with the LCP, the LCP Max, and the Security 380. These are some of the biggest manufacturers in the world. And then Walther just came out with the PD 380. Not the small little LCP size handguns, but larger three-finger grip contact handguns. And people are obviously buying them because they want their comfort food, much like I want that bacon double cheeseburger. They want a lower recoil round. Like, they may want a Greek salad. Whatever. You get the point. 380 ACP, I believe, does have its place in today's world. I think that there are people, even though they may not be on the, the YouTube comment section or the forums talking about it, they want a 380. I check with other women. They prefer a 380. They want a softer shooting round that can still get the job done. And if you are the type that says, hey, in a defensive situation, shot placement is what's most important, then what is wrong with a 380? Now, am I advocating for that, that everybody goes out and gets a 380 ACP handgun? No, absolutely not. 
but I also understand there's a market out there for it. And if you look at these major manufacturers who are some of the largest in the world, they, they study the ammo trends. They study the, the people. They have study groups. They, they fi figure out they would not produce and put the manpower and engineering into something that is not going to sell. So you look at these manufacturers, as well as many others, still producing 380 ACP handguns tells me that it is a relevant round. People still want it. People will look at that salad section or the 380 ACP and say, that is what I want. It's what I prefer. I want that lower recoil. I want that lighter spring weight. I can handle it. And therefore, that's what I will go with. And that, I believe, on Think About It Thursday, is true even though people like you and me would not choose a 380 ACP for carry. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.